Good morning, everyone. So today I'm just really working on having a super productive day. Um, I've got good sleep. I have a lot of pain points. I'm really excited. Um, so I got up at five this morning um, and I was able to read for like two hours. Uh, I already got like myself all ready for the day, shower, makeup and all that kind of stuff. Um, these are our little plants that we've got going here. So um, we're regrowing stuff. So this is celery, and you can see the little babies, little baby sprout. Um, my carrots are not doing super great, but they're growing a little bit. Uh, and this is my little lettuce. They're growing a little bit. Don't know about my pineapple. We're trying to regrow that. I need to harvest the sprouts today. We've got quite a few sprouts going, and these are these getting a little dry. So we gotta harvest those. Harvest, harvest. Harvest, harvest. Um, and then uh, I am working on a few business things today, so I wanted to show you guys those um, because I, I came up with a lot of ideas this morning. Super excited. Um, Mom is in there watching bread stuff. <laughs> and um, so I, I'm just gonna make my bed real quick and then um, get ready for some office stuff. I was going to show you in the morning or really anytime. I, I, I like having good scents going. So I was going to crack the window open a little bit. And then um, I like, I love using rose water. Um, this is just a really light smell, really refreshing. This is very like springy. I also have this scent that's almost out, but it's, um, I was going to show you guys, smell that. Um, but this is like a vanilla, like a nice warm vanilla. So I like I like warm scents or orange scents. Vanilla, rose, and orange are probably my favorites because they're very calming. I also love eucalyptus. So, um, but I was gonna spray a little of this in here. So, uh, scents are really important for mood lifting too. So, like if you have good um, good essential oils, all that kind of stuff, it's really really important for lifting your mood. Alrighty, so I've been lately I've been using this tea um, it is a licorice spice tea by stash this is really good this would be amazing like with some uh, like some uh, like coconut milk creamer or something with some sweetener but like I've just been taking it uh, just plain I, I really need to stay hydrated but I tend to be like when it comes to water I'm a guzzler so um, I used to when I was a kid I used to wait all day until the end of the day to drink my water and then I would drink like a, like I would drink a vats of water so um, I, t I tend to just be used to being like a camel and just being able to drink a lot of water and I can't do that anymore because of my back because if my stomach goes if my stomach descends my back goes out like that so I have to be really careful to stay hydrated but not drink like a vast amount of water um, and if I have a glass in front of me I'll just down it so tea is great because it's hot I used to do a lot of cocoa but I don't do that anymore just because uh, it's it's too inflammatory for my back so I'm trying to do all anti-inflammatory mostly plant-based diet right now so um, I've got that going um, sister needs to put push in the trundle um, and we are off for the first part of our day so I'm gonna write my to-do list and then I will show that to you guys and we will get started on our little productive day. All right, so it is now 9:10, and I have my little list. I love paper lists. I have tried every other list I've tried, but I really like paper ones because they stay they stay here. And I have to see them when I wake up. So I really like having my paper list. So um, I've taken my supplements. Um, I'm going to do my physical therapy first. I thought about taking a wonderful morning walk because it is really sunny out today. But I'm going to wait for a bit and reward myself with a walk later. Um, so on my list today, um, I ha I've kind of arranged things so that there's personal, there's like a personal list that I have to get done for myself. And then this is like for business stuff down here. So um, one of the things that are is at the top of my list today is to create the This Our Daily Life blog because I have some um, products I'd like to put on there for you guys. Um, and then I have, um, uh, I need to do a promo for the children's book that I wrote because that's just been sitting and I haven't really been doing anything with it. And I, I do need to be better about promoting my work and it's just not something that I'm very strong at. I think a lot of INFJs are not very good at like promoting their own work. We get nervous about it. Um, we feel like, you know, it's good enough it'll just sort of like happen but you do have to be willing to put yourself out there and I think sometimes it just feels so self-serving we don't like that so 
I'm going to do a little bit of that. I need to send off five agent letters today. I've been failing, failing, failing at sending off those every day. That's been my, my goal has been five agent letters every day. Haven't done it. So uh, I am going to jump on that. Um, and then I also like having the paper list because, shedding, um, once I write something down, if I actually finish it, um, I can cross it off, which feels really great. And then if, if there's like something that hasn't gotten done, I just transfer it over to the list for the next day. Like if I've done most things. Um, so I, and I don't anticipate to finish everything that I have on my list, but I have probably at least like four things. So I'm going to star the things that I think are the most important, get those done. Um, I do need to do my physical therapy first so that I feel really good. And then, um, I, my back feels strong so I can do more work without being distracted by pain. Um, and then I will get on with the rest of my day. So uh, PT is done and now I am jumping into my office work. Um, I cannot sit quite yet. I'm, 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 I'm hoping that it's going to be like maybe a month and I can actually bend my spine and sit. That'll be so nice because like standing up all day is really exhausting. By like by the time it's like one o'clock I'm like, oh, I'm tired. So we will see how that goes. Um, I might try sitting for a few minutes today. I sat for a couple minutes yesterday, but I don't want to put too much pressure on my spine. So anyway, office stuff. Here we go. One quick little note. I'm just going to be setting timers for myself. You can set timers on your phone or you can set them on your, um, on your computer. I think I have one that's called, um, I'll have to look at it and give you guys a screenshot, but it's countdown something and it has these cool little circles that I can watch. Um, so I, I, I'm going to put that on. I haven't been super diligent about doing that while I'm doing office work, but I'm going to do 30 minute increments of stuff today and then make sure I move just a little bit with my spine and then go back to 30 minutes. Another way that I measure time and help myself stay motivated is movies in the background that I know really well that are just kind of uplifting for me. So um, usually when I would do math, I would do uh, Nancy Drew, the 2007 version. I have that whole thing memorized, but I love the soundtrack and like the energy of it would just keep me going through math. So lately I've been doing um, the Sugar Creek Gang, which are these like these like kind of home movie-ish movies but I really really enjoyed them and actually some of the music from him is really quite good so um I've been putting those on because they're like outdoorsy it's just kids running around and splashing in water and having a grand old time so that's been a good background thing for me to have on while I'm doing homework and stuff Everything <laughs> constant. well if I could I would I can't believe she wasn't filming this before what you're filming mama Memories. <laughs> One day you look at this and you'll say, oh my god, that was such a child. <laughs> such a strange little Russian. <laughs> no, but Lexi was saying that I that I don't enjoy being around people very much. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we're in our own family counseling session. Um, excuse me. I did not say those words. What I said was, let's cross the street first. Yeah. Social distancing. I don't want to catch corona. <laughs> I think this Washington's the one where I got to because people already are pretty socially distant as it is. <laughs> no, but it rains like, on oh, everything. Oh, no parties and cookouts. Bummer. I was going to just cancel all the ones I had Yeah, planned. someone's like, let me check my calendar for me. Now I'm going to have to cancel events. Oh, wait, there wasn't anything. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, my, I, I, my schedule's already yoga. clear for <laughs> homeschooling my children. So. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, I do like being around people, but you guys are saying that it's very so it's we hard for me. So we were saying everyone, everyone in this group has different ways of dealing with like social situations. <laughs> I <Obviously>. avoid them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, pretty much. Rachel, <laughs> anytime she would go to a party like for church or stuff, like she would mentally prepare herself before going, like gaze out the window, like let's go be around people. <laughs> people, lots of people. <laughs> so many people. We walk in, there's like, you know, 12 girls, and she's like, okay, it's time to disassociate. <laughs> cha cha over to someone having a conversation. I'll just sit there and be a great listener. <laughs> because you are. You're a really good listener. You are a good listener. Ashley Ruby. goes in, she's like, okay, the YMCA <laughs> taught me how to be in a community and be there for people and just give everything I have. So, here we go. Okay, walking in. Oh, hello, how are you? How are your 
children? How's your dog? How's your hamster? <laughs> you How? come back no, home. No, 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 no. We need to talk about life at the deepest level. Oh, yeah. And really get to the root Wait. of the problem. <laughs> how's your hamster? And oh, by the way, how's your inner psyche? <laughs> Okay, so we went for our little walk and then I had a virtual tea party with one of my ballerinas and her mom and then we, Lexi and I are going to do a little bit of singing and maybe a little bit of acting and this is turning out to be a good day. Yeah. All right, okay, go ahead. <laughs> about to harvest my little sprouts. My little sprouts. I think these ones I'm gonna have to just pull up. These ones I might be able to cut. I don't know, they're so pretty. <laughs> they're so pretty, I don't wanna take them out. Uh, these are pretty too. Okay, harvesting time. Which one? Um, oh, the how will I know, my darling? Da, da, da. That one? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. Give me five more minutes. Okay. Four minutes. Okay. Well, I am going to hope that these little guys can sprout back up. Okay guys, so these are the first tiny, tiny little harvest of my microgreens. And um, so what I'm gonna plan on doing with these is I think I'm gonna put them in a baggie and freeze them. Um, but I, I think I just need a bigger tub for my microgreens um, because they're just getting really crowded in these little pots. And also I think the soil depth was wrong for some of them. Like they, they grow really close to the surface and I, and I just, I think I did them a little too deep with these ones because they started getting like really really muddy or just too deep and then they get all tangled in the dirt so lesson learned these little guys the little beet the little beet ones these did really well so i'm going to try to do some more of these and um, do them in a larger spread and i think that'll work better okay so i'm out here in the yard in the yard 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 and i have to pick some place for us to be and some place to set this thing I don't know where I'm gonna do that. Let's go ahead and film. Okay. You never know what funny things will okay. happen. So, um, what do we wanna, what, okay, so we're gonna sing sunshine, flower, flower, and then what else? I'm sorry, I I'm broke, broke your heart, heart. I was gonna wander around the house and be like, good night, guitars. Good night, drums. Huh? Good night. You know when, when John would walk around and make good night, guitars? <laughs> Oh. I love you. I love you. And I don't know who these people are. All right. <laughs> I love you. All right. So it's the end of the night. I had three video meetings today. I had a meeting with uh, one of my dancers and her mom <coughs> for a little tea party. Then I had another video meeting with one of my dancers. Then I had another video meeting for a um, <coughs> excuse me for a business meeting. And then after that. Um, I did a little bit of reading and I took my shower and I, now I'm, I'm so tired I'm ready to go to sleep. But that was a really good productive day. I didn't get any writing done but I got quite a few things on my <clears throat> to-do list done. <sighs> did I do anything else? Six? Seven? Seven and a half. I got seven and a half things done on my list, so that's pretty good. And now I am ready to go to sleep. I'm very tired. So have a wonderful day, guys. That was my <clears throat> productive day. Pain points were pretty sustained today. So that was really good. Now I'm ready to go to sleep. So putting the oil diffuser on.